Hey guys, so today we are gonna do a tutorial. I'm going to do like a blue under the eye with a natural lid type of situation. I wanted to use some products from my BoxyCharms. I have about two months worth of products that I'm gonna try to incorporate, so let's be friends, shall we? So the first product that I'm going to try is this Bare Minerals Skin Longevity. I think it's like a moisturizer. It says to use it twice a day. Hmm. It's kind of like a milky texture. I have been having such a hard time with my skin, you guys. And I know that I do have a video out just kind of explaining what happened. I've just been really struggling with my skin and I feel like... I just feel like things are not healing. Like when I get a scratch, I feel like it's there for a while. Or like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm scarring. And I have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. It's just like a follow-up. I'm not really like concerned about anything, I guess. I don't know. There's not really any updates on my skin. It does look better than my last video for Ian's birthday. Anyways, let's continue. We're gonna be using, I got this in my boxy charm, the Needles No More, No More Baggage from Dr. Brandt. It's an eye, it's supposed to be an eye depuffing gel. It's orange. Look at it. Fascinating. I'm just gonna try to use a little on my finger. It's orange kind of sticky. I wonder how that's going to affect the concealer. It's like really sticky. Hmm. I actually feel it kind of like tightening. Seems to have dried down. My pony is all over the place right now, you guys. I don't even care. I don't even care. I just... <laughs> I feel like people think it's so weird that I put it over to the side, but it's just so much better for my head to have it like, ugh, like this and like this. I'm sorry. This is how we're gonna do. Check out those baby hairs coming through. <sighs> that's new. I feel like that's new. Like, where's my hair? Then to minimize my pores, I'm going to be using the Porefessional from Benefit. And I'm just going to stick a little bit of that on my finger. And then I'm going to use my ring finger to get in there. And this really just smooths everything out. For foundation, I've really been liking this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I use the shade Yukon. It's a little light for me right now. So I will be mixing it with this Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup from Neutrogena. And this is in Buff. And it's a little bit darker, so um, hopefully it blends pretty nicely. And I haven't actually tried this Healthy Skin. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I thought I would pop a little on with the NARS stuff. And I mix it on the back of my hand. And then I just kind of stripe it on my face. It doesn't oxidize. That healthy skin doesn't oxidize. It should be fine. How much you want to bet that Neutrogena one is going to oxidize though? It's fine. We always make it work, people. I don't think I've ever gotten a foundation that actually matches my skin. I swear. Even like high-end foundations. I don't know. I mean, I order a lot online, so that could be the problem. I like the camera's making me look so white. I'm not. I've really been liking that NARS, but like I said, it just has not been my right color. So I haven't actually had a chance to wear it alone. But I do really like it. Don't think that it breaks down easily on my skin or anything like that so and then I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light sand and we're just gonna pop a little bit of that under our eyes center of the nose forehead 
Abel. Cupid's bow. And then on the chin, I am actually going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Concealer in Fair. And I just like to put that on my breakouts. And blend that out. I just got back from Wisconsin. I was visiting family. It was really fun. I had a nice time. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Fair Light. I just bought a bunch of stuff on Fashion Nova. I bought some jeans. I actually really love their jeans. If you are a butt girl, like you got a booty, these jeans are bomb. They fit you in the waist. They're high waisted. And I'm into it. And then I actually invested in some crop tops. Isn't this one cute? Fashion Nova. They're drinking milkshakes. I drink milkshakes all day long, you guys. So bad. I'm trying to find some motivation to get healthy. To get on a diet regime because I do work out. Ian and I do pretty well on working out. As long as we're home, because we do travel. I have traveled every month this year, and I have something planned every month this year except for August. So it's been busy. Okay, now we're gonna take the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. Blend out that bake. Make sure we have some color back in our face. And then I am going to bronze. I'm gonna be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm gonna be using shade Tan. Right here. With my Morphe R2. And we are going to bronze. This look is going to be really natural, so I can go a little heavy on the cheeks. It is Shark Week this week on TV and in real life. You know, it has been a struggle trying to find the energy, the motivation to do anything. It's been hard. I am currently on this pill that I wear my period every three months, which is really nice. It's been... Honestly, it's been a godsend. I used to struggle so bad with cramps and fatigue when I'm PMSing. Now I'm just using soft light and cream under my eyes just to lighten everything up. And I had a lot of problems with like my PMS, mood regulations, um, acne. So I really think that this pill helps with all of that. It's just, it's hard to balance and it's, it's really hard when the period it does finally come after not having one for three months, it's really hard. And then I'm gonna contour my nose with this toffee color right here. So anyway, I'm coming up on a year with this birth control and I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm gonna continue on this journey with this birth control. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. Okay guys, so the brows are done. Now we are going to get into blush. I got this blush in my BoxyCharm. It's from Note. It is called Desert Rose. It's really pretty. I thought it'd be kind of nice and natural. We are going to be using this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. Whoa. All right. Tap off that excess, for sure. It's actually really, really pretty. I really like that. Just have a light hand with it on your brush when you're dipping. It's a little powdery. It's really pretty. Very natural. Moving on to eyes, we are going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics palette with BoxyCharm. 
So it looks like this. It has some really nice transition shades and some really nice shimmery shades. We're also going to be using the crown palette. It looks like this. It's very pretty. Lots of shimmery shades. A couple transition shades. So what I think I'm going to do is use the transition shades from here and then I want to use this very dark blue right here. So let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. I'm going to zoom you in. Alright, so hopefully the autofocus changes a little bit. The first shade I'm going to go into is in the BoxyCharm palette. It's this one right here. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe M511. And we are just going to fluff that into the crease. And you just want to lightly buff that in. You don't want any harsh lines. This color is blending pretty nicely. And then we are going to grab this shade on a Morphe 573 and we're going to buff that a little bit lower in the crease. I want to go too dark on the lid because we are going to go in with that blue on our lower lash line. We don't want to have too much going on on the top. And you could have just used the first shade if you wanted to do something a little less dramatic. Now on this Vintage Cosmetics Company brush, I'm going to be taking this shimmery color right here and I'm just going to be packing that on the lid. Very sheer. It'd probably be better with some Fix Plus, but honestly, that's not the look I'm really going for. Now I'm going to take my Pat McGrath Perma Gel ultra glide eye pencil in extreme black and I am also going to be taking this aesthetics brush it's just a angled brush and I'm just going to drag a little line on my upper lash line I'm gonna take my brush and I am just gonna smudge that out. And then I'm gonna kinda try to drag that up to kinda do a smoky wing. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark shade in the palette I don't want to use a black because I really don't want this to look black. And I'm going to kind of pat that over top of the black. And then I'm just going to try to smoke that out. Just getting a little bit of so now that you have something like that, I am going to go in with that second brown shade and I just want to make sure that this is kind of blendy. And then again with the first one. The first brown shade in that same brush, I did put a little bit more of that light brown shade on the brush. So that's what we got going on there. And then for the lower lash line, I am going to be taking this eyeliner I got in my BoxyCharm Beauty For Real in the navy. And it's a really pretty blue color, you can see there. And I'm going to put that in my lower lash line. And I am going to try to get it a little bit under the lashes. And then we're going to take the Alamar palette. We're going to go in with the R41. We're going to go in with this color here. 
And we are gonna blend that into our lower lash line. Whoa! That's actually really pigmented. Just brushing away the fallout. And then I am going to take that first brown shade we use and my Morphe 506, which is just a very small shader brush. And I'm gonna try to blend out that blue just a hair. All right, let's zoom me out. All right, so this is how it's looking. I'm gonna pop on some mascara and some fake lashes. I'm gonna be using the mascara from my BoxyCharm. It's the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. The wand looks like this. And I am going to be using the Ilor Nicole Guerrero Faux Mink Flawless Lashes. Faux Flawless Lashes. And they look like this. Super pretty. So I'm gonna go pop those on and I will be right back. Hey guys, we are back. I did lashes and mascara. Now we're gonna move on to highlighter and lips. For highlighter, I think I got this sample from Sephora. It's the Becca Opal highlighter. I've never tried this before. It's really pretty. I thought it'd go nice with this look. So I'm gonna use my Mint Pear Rounded Soft Blend M64 brush. I got this in my BoxyCharm as well. And pretty, very pretty. I feel like it got a different color when I swiped it. Very pretty. Then I am going to spray with the Morphe setting spray. It's the continuous setting spray. This stuff is actually really nice. It's really fine mist, and you can just hit the button forever. And it smells really good. Mmm. Y'all. That is so nice. And then I'm going to just take my Beauty Blender. Tap out the powder highlighter a little bit all right that's pretty right okay I need to highlight my brow bone I'm gonna do that with the same Becca highlighter and my inner corner oh no that inner corner it looks kind of dark I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Got a little bit of a blue tint. I'm using Fire Crystal. That's actually really pretty mixed together. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of that on my cheekbones as well. Right on like the highest point. Yes! You guys, I'm loving it. One more spray, one more pound. Oh my God, that's super pretty. Now for lips, I'm gonna be using the Coco K Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics. And then for lips today, I am using the Palladio Casey Holmes collab in Georgia. I've been loving this. It's really lightweight formula. It lasts a long time and I really love it. I just think it is such a nice pinky, peachy type of color. I always blot. 
Well, this is the finished look. I think it turned out really good. I'm really enjoying the pop of color on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to do that again. I think it's really fun. I like the smoky liner. It almost kind of looks like the blue blended a little bit on the sides. Like I have a blue liner going a little bit. I kind of like that. I'm digging that. Yeah, I really like it. I like it with the lip. I really enjoyed the blush from my BoxyCharm. I liked the blue eyeliner. It was a good base for me to blend out with the eyeshadow. The palettes are nice. I actually think the crown palette blended really nicely. I wasn't a fan of the lightest shimmer color in there. As you kind of saw, it was just kind of average. But I did like the other palette, the Alamar palette. That blue is really pigmented, so I would like to use that a little bit more. And as I said, the crown palette was pretty good. It's just I only tried the mattes and that one shimmer, so maybe the other shimmers are better. I really like the way the foundation and the highlighter ended up looking and the lashes. I haven't had these lashes on yet, but I'm really liking them because I can still like see the eye look, but they're still like dramatic. I don't know. I'm digging, digging the look, you guys, with my flip floppy ponytail. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up and make sure to leave me a comment. What is your favorite pop of color to use? I usually like purple. I think I've said that before, but this blue is giving me vibes. I love it. I hope you enjoy your day or night wherever you are. Toddy vibes. Shape tape concealer. <coughs> I'm gonna take 